It's time for Play City Skylines 2. So, um, as you guys remember last time I was in Milford County, and it's been a while since I was last in Milford County, um, we were following this cop car, and so the game loaded, we're back with the car. Seems very front heavy, or I guess he brakes really hard. Um, so let's, uh, maybe stop following him for a bit. There's zero passengers, who's driving the car? Autonomous cops, maybe. All right, so what have we got over there? Abandoned, so we've got some abandoned buildings. Um, for what reason? Let's find out. They were unhappy because of high crime. All right, didn't I make a police station here last time I was here? Let's see, taxi depot, medical clinic, police. I did make a police station, so that makes zero sense, except that they're probably patrolling like way the F out there somewhere, right? So, let's see. Let's take a look at our districts. So we've got a district here, Autumn Ridge. Um, let's make a new district uh, here. Uh, all right, Barlow Way. Uh, we need a district for here. Actually, this will be like from here to here like that. That's cool. So now let's restrict where these cops work and see if that improves things. Let's say we're going here, here, and here. And that's it. All right. And we will also go ahead and name this the uh, Autumn Ridge Police Station. Okay. Very cool. So hopefully that helps things out a bit. Um, all right, we've got a, quite a bit of demand going on here. We've got all this here. Um, some people just leveled up. All right, we were developing along there. So what I want to focus on is come back to the university that I was making. Um, so... I... think... That I want to buy, let's say this tile, and this tile, and that one, and I want to make the um, the highway also come towards the university, and I want to do a little bit of work on the university itself, um, and then take a look at what our needs are. Uh, I'm anticipating this to be a eh, Maybe half an hour, maybe 45 minutes of gameplay. Let's grab our highway tool. We've got... Let's see, this looks like a four-lane highway, yeah. All right, so let's go... That. Is that what I want? Yeah, okay. We'll allow that going that way. Um, we'll just... You know what, I think, let's go curve. So let's go out, bring it in a little, and here, curve it up. I don't want it to like go right up to university, that wouldn't make any sense. We'll go back to our straightaway, and I believe, probably what would make the most sense would be to bring this road, um, over to meet the highway. And we'll just go... You know what we'll do? We'll go here. Do another 90. And then we will just meet up right... There. Okay, cool. There we go. Alright. I don't... believe that people should be able to cross um right by a highway that's kind of bonkers all right and we'll let that let's see i think i forgot because i've been watching so much city skylines one can we say no traffic but i want to stop S stop let me see does it have to be like an always stop then how does this work Okay, that turns that on, what if I, and if I go to stop, it's a stop. What I really want is stop here, but not there. 
Um, you know what? I think I think probably what would work better. Let's do. Let's do some lane math, if you will. Let's go from here. Let's go complex curve. Actually, let's start here, and then let's go something like that. Okay. Um, again, no crosswalks here, but now we don't have to worry about traffic lights or anything, right? Yeah. All right, cool. And so... Um, let's see. So now... I think, and I, this is maybe kind of silly for a, um, what's that called, a uh, rural highway, I think City Planner Plays always calls these, um, but I, so you know, you know what, I guess for the type of highway this is, we'll save that for later when it's a, when it's like a, a the bigger type of highway. <laughs> We'll just let this, we'll just let this connect right in. That's fine. I, I think it's fine to have it signalized. It's not perfect, but I've, I've seen those, um, near my, near where I live. So let's just really quickly do the landscaping for this. Let's do in the middle, middle, trees, trees. Trees. I wish the trees automatically came with the grass. It's kind of silly to have trees without grass, but maybe that's just me. All right. So that was one of the things I wanted to do is get the um, highway to connect to the university. Um, another thing I wanted to do was I wanted to build a school of agriculture which I will represent as a farm. Um, I have forgotten where everything resides. Um, let's see. All right, so we'll do like a little farm here, which will be the ag school essentially. Um, should we put it on this side? Let's see if we've got... Yeah, we'll put it on this side of the quad here. And we'll kind of go... Let's see. Something like that. Get it in village shape. There we go. Alright, so... This will be the, uh... Samuel... I can't spell. School of Agriculture. Okay. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. All right. We should definitely have a pathway to the school. We'll do something kind of like that. All right. Um. Let me do another dorm here. Um, oh yeah, this was our little emergency shelter. Um, let's do another, another dorm here. Okay. Alright, let's do our pathing again. Quick look at my notes of what else I wanted to do with the university. <coughs> oh, that's right. I need to create a district here. For the university. I 
think we'll go out to maybe to here. Okay. We'll do a heavy traffic ban. And speed bumps. All right. So I think definitely near the university there'd be like a like a little um college town area. And we're gonna have that and, and we also should probably have some housing for like the uh the um professors and so on. What I want to do is, um, wow, look at all these people leaving the university there. Um, I'm going to do a commercial right across here. I think I will do a frontage road. Um, it will, let's see, maybe come out here. Okay, let's go back to normal street roads. And then we'll go out, let's see. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we'll go across here. Okay, and this will be an area for, let's see. I'm gonna do a pedestrian street here. I think that would make sense. Well as here. Has anyone seen my keys? Keys! What? And we're on the air? Oh, oh! Uh, sorry about that. It's a. Let's get a pavement path. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the brown sedan parked outside the radio station. Oh, wait. Right there. Say that if anyone finds them, please don't, don't steal my car. I mean, the old hornbuckle mobile, please. There we go. Oh, All right, so now this is going to be commercial. Here they are. Well, never mind them. <laughs> Thank you for listening to uh, Second Moon. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. All right. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all. And now we're joined today by an expert. I think it would obviously make sense. Welcome. Or so a housing shortage is this road to continue to here. Humans are programmed to desire certain. It's a bit short, but not horrible, I think. All right, what's going on over here? Oh, this guy's waiting to churn. All right, so now let's make a little <coughs> area here that would be for the um, uh, professors. So we're gonna go here. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human. Thank you, professor. It is a question of priorities. I'm going to continue the pedestrian street one more area. And when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. All right, and now we're going to do some housing. This would be um, professor housing. And we're going to, going to go kind of like uh, space them out a bit. Okay. And then... In between, we'll plant a breeze here. Okay. All right, there we go. And another little set right back here. Perfect. All right. Um, <coughs> we'll just keep doing the same thing over here.
Very nice, very nice. We'll plant some more trees here. For this area, I'm going to first put a park. Let's do a uh, dog park. Perfect. Excellent. I'm just curious. Does it make sense for there to be a path that goes like that? Okay, cool. That worked out. Awesome. All right. And then we'll allow maybe like the dean or someone important lives here. They can have like a bigger house. Maybe here like that. Okay. Excellent, excellent. What is this, a garbage truck? Yep. Alright. Um, very cool, very cool. So we got student housing over here. We've got professors living here. Um, let's see. I think realistically we might have some more um, maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe if I put it in here, it would be like the campus store or something like that. So we'll put one like right, maybe something like that there. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, um, so that's, while well, that's growing, um, let's go ahead and head this way. And let's finish up back here. What I was working on. Um, these were kind of long, narrow, narrow blocks. All right. Um, well, I think it makes sense. Do we have anything here? Maybe not. We don't. Nice form. Well, we do need more industry, so maybe we add some more back here. Or, actually, let's see, if we come over to where the trains are, first of all, maybe we need to bulldoze these abandoned buildings for other people to show up. I guess we do. Look at that. All right, and then let's do the same over here. So now they have police coverage, maybe they'll be happier. Um... All right, so if we were to do industry, which way is the wind blowing? All kinds of random directions here. Um, but let's see. So based on where I want the city to grow, I wouldn't actually want any over there. Um, so over here, all blowing very strongly that way. All right, so maybe I'll just buy another tile then. I was kind of thinking I was going to have to do that anyway. Let's do it now. All right. So, coming into here. Uh, let's get out of this mode. All right. Um... All right, realistically, we need at least a two-lane road that's... Boy, that would be... You know what? We will... Uh, let's see. What have we got going on here? Did we put, like, two things back-to-back, -back, or is that just part of the way the asset looks? That's interesting. Well, either way. Let's, let's go this way. Oops. Not mean to go off kilter like that. There we go. This will be the basis of a new block that we start. Um, so let's go. We'll do like a little, like a longish block. That seems to be more de rigueur when it comes to uh, 
Or do I split in half? I don't know. I think I'll just have a maybe a, an alleyway here just to facilitate getting through, but maybe not so much traffic. Um, we'll do a small parking lot right there. We'll get some industry going. Okay. Those guys going. And where was our rail network? It's over here somewhere. Way over here, I think. Alright. Um... Looks like that was all it took to really take care of a lot of our industrial demand. Um, let's see. Let's get. Um, let's start coming out this way. What do we meet up with? We meet up here. Um, so again, in terms of kind of kind of plan things a little more realistically, I'm gonna put um, some commercial in here, which might represent like uh, where people might shop, um, like go grab some some lunch or something. I, I know we don't really control that as much in vanilla Skylines too, but maybe that'll come later. Um, All right, I'm gonna do one more block here, I think. I think that would make sense. Um, so this was, it's not telling me how many meters or yards, I guess I should say. 87, all right, so let's go up 87 yards or 88, whatever. Definitely gonna go with what uh, city planner plays says, and not let perfect be the enemy of the good. Except when it doesn't let me make right angles because my street is a little too short. Okay, get rid of that stub. All right, uh, we're get we're getting perilously close to the um, highway here, and I, I think highway needs right of way. So we're not gonna we're gonna have to kind of modify this going that way. Huh, Briar Rose Street, I like that. Alright, um we'll go ahead and continue our alleyway section here. Uh here, I mean. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and do our industry. Industry. Do some more parking. Let's see if that one is there. Maybe we'll do this parking right here. Then we'll just do some more industry. See if we can take care of that. All right, but we really, really need people to move in here. So let's see if we expand some residential. Um, I think I'll start off over here by the university. Um. Over in the, let's see, I think back here we could definitely use maybe some row houses representing, um, maybe some upperclassmen or something live in some row housing. Or like uh, folks are renting it out to students. All right. Um, <laughs> Do row housing here. <laughs> mm, that should help a bit with things. Right. 
Now, as far as university and so on, so we've got. Let's see, this is the College of the Arts. Okay, so we haven't unlocked the university, although we don't have the money for it either. Or the technical or the medical. All right, so that'll all be up in here. Um. All right, it looks like everybody that wants to go to elementary school is in elementary school. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Local authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city during this water shortage. Consider installing a low flush toilet cut back on watering the lawn, and shower with a friend whenever possible. This has been a local public service announcement. How delightful! Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. Hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Y'all got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. Oh, let me guess. Lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself, hmm? Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Oh, yes, soul. A raison d'etre. Mmm, delicious. My sisters say whoever you got playing the keys got more funk in his pinky. Hmm, but I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music has been known since the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the layperson. Now, let's hear another one of those soulful cants. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming, as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. We've recently been having what some are calling the worst kind of luck there is. That's right, today we are talking about the increased likelihood that you'll die. That's not exactly what an increased death rate measures. Either way, if everybody is dying, that gives me the creep. That's a wild overstatement. Are you trying to make people panic? Pan did, you, did you say panic? She said panic. The death rate is skyrocketing. We've got to get out of here. You go. I'll stay and clear up the mess. We'll be back after this. All right. All right, let's see what these folks don't like here. Noise pollution. Small homes, high crime. Why is there high crime? There's a freaking cop right over here. It's patrolling your area. Or not, I guess. Maybe he hasn't made his way back over here yet. Hmm. All right, well, it's going to take a little while then, I guess. All right. You know, as far as noise goes, maybe we just need some... Plant some stuff here. I think that's something that might happen to kind of lower the noise from the train. So I'm going to, oh, before I do anything that I was about to do, 
think. What is this they're saying? Not enough customers. All right. I think. Maybe I want to try and grow this area a little bit. Let's let's buy this right here. All right, let's come out of this. All right, let's see if we can't expand things a bit here. All right, since we already have a junction there, let's have that be kind of our, uh, well, let's see, let's come out from here. We'll go at 90. And let's see, we can go from here. Maybe if we go from here, 90. Really close here. All right, I think I know what I need to do. Let's go this. So we'll come out at 90. And we'll meet you. Right there. All right. Cool. So that gives us another way. And then might as well go ahead and go across here. there is right of way and to help signal that we'll throw a bunch of trees there bring this a little bit All right and then uh, let's see these were I'm just gonna go be there. Perfect. All right, let's get this to all. Well, let's see. We'll go from here to here, residential. That's a lot more high density than I was planning on building. Let's go ahead and get some parking spaces. Um, let's get some single family homes. And we stuff a small park in here. Was a small playground or a small park small park all right and then oh we've lost all of our medium density desire slowly draining away all of our need for residential. See if that helps. <laughs> right. So we need a lot more commercial that we can at least semi-easily do. Let's see. So I definitely think we would have some more 
commercial here. Um, yeah, there might be another block here with some commercial. Um, I did the wrong kind of street there. All right, I think we've reached the limits of the pedestrian street. So now I'm going to go with um, just letting people have some sidewalks. got a streamlined diner. Ooh, I definitely want to build that down here in my downtown area. That's going to be really nice. Um, like right, right here. Hell yeah, definitely. I'm going to put this, let's see. I think this should be, like, right on the main thoroughfare. Oh, or should it be on this side? Mm, I think it makes more sense up here, I think. Take a look at that guy. Ah, uh, advertise your company here. I like that. All right, I think just about done for today. Let me just do some zoning around this. I think this is definitely a great place for some commercial, even though I've suddenly lost, my city has suddenly lost its appetite for commercial. We'll go up like, we'll go down from here. Let's see. All right, we'll do some commercial here. All right, cool. So, I think I think I'm going to go ahead and zone the rest of this and then we'll be done for today. So, let's see. I think maybe about right here. I want to cut across. Um, I think as we get closer to here, we'll probably mostly want businesses, but we'll probably get some um, commercial that would make sense there. Let's see. I think this is a good place to across. We'll cut down here. Okay. And do it maybe. You know what? Mm -mm -mm. I think we go like that, but we don't connect. We let it be a cul de sac. Um, all right, about here, we'll cut down. Cross. All right, as this curves up, I think we'll leave it alone. Okay, so I think on that street there would be commercial. Um, I think that um, 
down here we would probably have um, maybe you know some density there this could probably be some more commercial um, back here I think we could do some low density housing potentially without much trouble uh, same here Um, down here, let's do mixed. Um, and let's see if they're not going to zone right away. I'm going to put a parking lot separating those two. Um, I think back here, would, let's see, along here, we probably would want some more commercial. Here, do row homes really make sense in area? I don't think row homes make sense. City will be we'll do something like that. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory here. has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. All right, we need... You're listening to Second Moon, the station for the cultural sophisticate who doesn't fear extending their ears also. to the more challenging sphere. A playground here. Let us move Dog now park from here. A musical page to the literary. Mm -hmm. Here we have some perfectly anguishing correspondence from a listener. All right, I think here... My dear... We definitely have an outdoor gym here, this area. I make no apology <coughs> for my erudite basketball courts, maybe right here, that I which I'm going to pair off with I am but a some, uh, and all some housing. Expertise derives merely from a life devoted to the gentle arts. Though I do thank you for the honor. Mm. Might be some uh, office space here as well. Uh, Professor Hornbuckle, as a traveler from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road-weary soul. Hmm. All right, back there here we'll do some more. Chin up, Oops. No need to Little family. Sediment. Leave that to those poet chaps, eh? Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit some modest desolation. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, expect delays and drive safe. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good. All right. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a that leaves us at a pretty good bad. place. People trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstract and its effect on the human Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. All right. All right, I'm just going to do a quick look at services here. All right, roads are fine. Traffic. Uh, flow could use some work. We'll have to... Take a look at that in a future thing. Uh, electricity. We need to produce more. Um, water. We're okay. 
Healthcare is fine. Garbage is fine. Fire rescue, good. Not gonna have a Verity Beach situation. Shelter availability is good. Police is strangely not. Oh yeah, right, because I need to provide, I need to expand that district. Okay, let me do that before I forget. There we go. All right. Um, administration, we don't really have any buildings. Um, education is okay. Transportation, we don't really have any. Post, we're okay. Um, probably could use a little more. Telecom, okay. Leisure, a whole bunch. Tourism, okay. Alright, so I think we are mostly okay. Um, other than the fact that we're not generating any office desire. Let's do a closing uh, cinematic then. Let's find a car to follow. I, oh, here we go. Uh, do we follow the taxi? Sure, why not? Taxi, I choose you. Oh, look at that. We got them right as they're picking up their passenger. 